Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to do it on today. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Louis Vlogs. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. My dude, today is finally it. Today is the day that we get rid of that nasty yellow headlights for the Ram and we get the full LED bright white or blue or whatever color you want for me I went with the diamond white color I believe um, I have the box over here so we're doing the full switch my dudes so I just, this all of this that I buy my dudes is down in the description below because I help everyone out so we're doing these LED lights that we're gonna use for the Ram so you have to make sure my dudes that you get two different kinds of LED light bulbs the 9012 is the low beam and the 9005 is going to be the high beam. So we bought two sets of that for low and high beams. I got my pops here. He's going to help us out so uh, he can be doing it or I can be doing it while recording. But we have to take away this nasty yellow. My Miata has LEDs. Not even my truck has LEDs since I installed the LEDs on the Miata. But we just got to pop this. Open it. And see what we're working with. So, from my understanding, I see that people want us to take away the grill, take out the grill to get to the headlights. And then I also learned like a little trick that we gotta take off this plastic either way, at least to like right here. And there's like a screw down there that we have to get. So, we're gonna try to do it both ways and figure it out. Once I figure it out, I'll get back to you guys. But yeah, this round's gonna get some nice diamond white colors no more that nasty yellow that i can't see anything and the fog lights well i didn't order that yet so we just focus on these top low and high way we're gonna try the cheat way i don't want to take out the whole grill but if i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to i'm gonna try the secret way first so the first thing we did was obviously we took out the plastic that was right here which is right here which is just some clips my dude so just pop them out be very careful you don't want to break them but you pop them out and my dad's right there getting some tools ready and then back here, there's like a secret, <laughs> secret hatch door with another clip that was right here, like so. You just pop that out, and that's the foot to put our hand inside there because in the, in the headlight unit, there's like a little hatch that's locked in for the headlight. So we got to un unlock it so we can move it, which we haven't done yet. And the secret that I learned is that there's a screw in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. That one right there, my dudes. That one way in the bottom, that's the one we have to get to get it loose in order to take out the headlight without moving the whole grill. So we're gonna try that out first. And if we failed, then we're gonna take out the whole grill. But hopefully we can just do it from right here. So we're gonna try this side first. And if we succeed, then I'll pop bring out the camera and we'll do it on this side so you guys can understand because it's the exact same thing over here. It has the exact same long screw on both sides. So it's give or takes. So let me try it first on that side and I'll bring up the camera out and then I'll explain everything what we did on this side. Because we had a lot of problems, a lot of issues, so we did the easiest way was to take off the grill. So we did take off the grill, which is just easy, just a couple more bolts right here, 10, same thing. So we got one, two, three, uh, four bolts you gotta take off. And then and then this is this was the issue. So the only problem was that we couldn't pick it up all the way up to release it. Oh, and we just took off that, which that's a no-no. Yeah, that's, that's to rise it and lower it, my dudes, for the headlights to aim it off. So that was the only issue that we had. So we had to take off the grill to see what we were doing completely. And then after you take off the bolts on top of the grill, all you got to do is hit, put your hand in the bottom inside the grill and just pop it out. And the grill just comes off. So there's the bolts holes where it pulls the boots along. And this is the clips that are holding it in place. All you got to do is push it out with force. Don't be scared because it will come off. And it did come off. And then for your hand in the back of the of the secret tire hatch thingy, or you want to call it, back here, there's a lever that you're gonna pull um, down, no, up to unlock, down to lock, I believe it was, which is just this right here. So you guys can see that up unlocks it, and then down unlocks it. This is the lever you gotta pull so you can move. And then one little bolt right here, so you gotta push it out with force, and it snaps right off. Unplug it, and we got the light bulb out. That's the little plug that goes inside. That white one that's holding it in place, so you gotta do is snap it off with force. So now we're back here, my dudes. So we brought oh we brought the headlight on the bicycle seat because we have no no workbench. And these holding this whole black piece in place, so I gotta do is take it off and unscrew it. Oh you're gonna unscrew it me. And now we're back to the fun part here. The fun part now, my dudes. So now we got the light bulbs. Finally we made it here. <laughs> so we got the low beams, high beams right here, you guys can see. 
that's probably the high beam that's probably the low beam just from guessing just from looking that's what we got so i'm gonna open these up and see what we're working with and i pick up the camera once we figure out what's going on so we open this up and you guys know that we always switch to LED lights, so we always got to buy the adapter kit that adapts it to the hydrogen bulb, to the LEDs. This is how they look like, my dudes. Remember, 9012 is low, and then 9005, 5, remember that, 5 high. So this is, the, this is the high beams. This is the low beams. This is the low beams. What are you doing first, the high beams? No, no, that one. The low beams. Okay, and then, just pull this out. You don't want to grab the middle, my dudes. Or the light bulb because your hands are all greasy and oil and stuff like that but it's just an easy swap so you took out the old one which my dad did and you put the, the new ones in there like so give it a nice twist that's it that's it and then we just connect this one to, to this one yes because the, we still have the long ones in there. So we haven't, we haven't touched the long ones, we're just doing the short ones right now. Just like that. This one and then, then what you do with this we just shove it in there. I hope it's even done ahead. Okay. And then these are the old light bulbs, my dudes, you guys can see. So you're getting rid of the nasty, regular, ugly yellows and put on the LEDs. I think that's why they zip tied it to hold it in place, yeah. which they gave us zip ties inside this kit. So the only issue we're having right now, my dudes, is that we don't know where we're gonna put this. that the box which is just barely like a cooling mechanism and actually makes the like a little chip telling the car that we're switching over to LED so we're just trying to figure out if we're gonna leave this inside here because we still got to cover it up or we're not gonna cover it up at all and just throw it in there you guys make sure you guys get the LED with the fan on my dudes you need, you need the fan because the fan actually cools down the LED light bulb so we're trying to figure out how we're going to do it. And we might have to zip tie it and hold it in place like these guys did. I guess off the factory. So next we're going to do the highs. Which is this one. Five high. That's really cool. They gave us zip ties. Or they gave us um, double sticky notepads. So we can put it against the body of the car. But we're just doing this in the meantime. That took us a while. And it's really hard to explain. But we're gonna do the next one and I'm gonna go more into detail about that. Um, we put it back on and don't forget to put the hatchet and tidy it up. So we did clip it and this is it my dudes. It is on right now. That is beautiful my dudes. That's just the low beams. And then over here, you guys can see that it's that nasty yellow color that they always give everyone you can't see anything with. But yeah, though I'm so stoked how it's gonna look at night because that is bright and it's just like daylight so i put the the high beams the high beams are even like brighter and that's the high beams it looks gorgeous and then if you guys can see the nasty yellow high beams over here to compare yeah yeah no good we're invested so we're gonna do the same thing what we did on this one to the next one which is basically we're gonna take off this one right here and this one right here like i said we took off the grill because we couldn't get this um bolt all the way out for it to be flexible for us to move it and then the same thing back here they should be a little hatch yep here it is a little hatch that we gotta take off and then put our hand behind it and snap off the release so this light bulb can come off and then we change the light bulbs and boom there it is Enter a problem my dudes we finished this side for some reason when we did a test drive on this side see if it works which they do work and the amber and the bottom lights work for turn signals so when i flipped over the turn signal for this one it started to act up like it didn't want to turn anymore like the light didn't turn on anymore so my dad's under there trying to figure out what's wrong he says everything's pushed in on the on the clip but just like a wire is like not all the way in so right now he's trying to zip tie it just to get it working but they do work and they are bright so you guys can see so you guys can tell the turn signal is on from the mirror see how it's on but if we come to down here it shuts on shuts off shuts on shuts off like it's not power going through so my dad's under there trying to mess around with it and trying to zip tie it to to a position where it can work that's the only downfall that we have so far i was on this side but on this side it's phenomenal everything works fine on this side see we even have the yellow lights on when you have the 
the low beams on and the turn signal works fine on this side it's just some reason this side is acting up i don't i don't want to say that it's the product itself i just want to say that something that we did or maybe a loose wire happened but yeah that's what's holding us back it's just this turn signal keeps turning on and off and my dad messes around with it all right my dudes we did finished it we did complete it the light does work now i cannot show you because unfortunately my battery just died my battery's dead it's running let me show you guys what we're working with now we got them in auto but we don't want them in auto i want to turn them on so you guys can see they have the emergency lights on so you guys can see too as well and there they are my dudes damn and we have the yellow nasty fog lights but we'll fix that later my dudes but that is awesome and this is right here with the brights on yeah that's awesome my dudes we finally got that fixed i'm gonna go on a little cruise later on tonight and then you guys will see how it officially does look at night but right now it's like a whole completely different new truck like wow that's finally night outside you guys can see the moon you guys can see our christmas lights are up and christmas lights though my whole neighborhood is up now we're going to the truck just by pressing the unlock button oh the lad that looks nice that like matches the truck finally with the mirrors with oh my god it looks so gorgeous oh yes all right let's now for the test drive i'm gonna get out of this neighborhood and go around see how it looks see how it does so let's go for a little cruise so i know i say we had an issue with the turn signal on but see got my turn signals on and it is flashing so we did fix that but i think there's another issue that i didn't pay attention to when i took off with the truck which i'll look at that once i stop but i'm just going down this kind of like a semi dark road but look how it lights up my dudes crystal clear like whoa whoa like i said i put everything down in the description below look at this my dudes so we're gonna go right here past this light post and then i'm gonna hit my 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 brights my longs you guys are gonna see wow that's my longs my brights that is freaking awesome and then back to my lows it's my dude is like in person is like phenomenal. Let me hit the let me hit the longs again. Boom! Light up all the way down there. My dudes, it's not doing so much on camera, but trust me, these LEDs are, are worth it. And it's more like a wide thing, I guess, because I also see kind of wide-ish. More I have like a wide view. But I can see the road like crystal. Like it's beautiful. When I put these on the Miata, they're the same thing. Different brands, but LEDs. But wow. I love it. This was a good purchase, my dudes. Like, like I said, just that wiring problem that we had. I don't know what happened on the left side and the right side came out good. Like I said, it was just a wiring issue. I'll try to fix it later, but I'm loving these lights. I am loving it. Finally, it looks awesome, my dudes. Now I just gotta do a couple more stuff to the truck for the lights. I gotta do the third brake light up there. I gotta change these bad boys. Well, the reverse one, especially that one. I'm um, still debating if I should get the long light bar strip down here of LEDs. Might get that next. I don't know yet. But the truck is coming in together. It's looking real nice and I'm, and I'm loving it. And we did fix the turn signal issue. You guys can see that we did fix it. We had a problem with it, but now we fixed it. So everything turns out to be a-okay. Oh, on the fog lights in the bottom. That'll be next as well because right now they look kind of ugly when if I have them on with the LEDs. <laughs> This is how they look. I might even run this setup for a while because I do kind of like it. That they look kind of yellowish. So uh, I know some people in the winter they 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 like having the yellow light bulb. So I might run it for the meantime. But this is it, my dudes. Yeah, yeah, it looks ugly. Never mind, it looks ugly. I might just buy an LED, but everything works fine now. Awesome, big upgrades. Like I said, everything's down below, my dudes. Whew. So I'll see you guys. The next one my dudes if you guys like what i do you guys know subscribe down below everything that i do is down in the description below this was a, lo a longer setup and a longer time to install than i thought that it would be but we got it done looks phenomenal it's well worth it i'll see you guys in the next one my dudes so peace out